42 years ago today was the final performance for the legendary Randy Rhodes. One of the founding members of Quiet Riot, one of the biggest reasons Ozzy was able to come back to music in the early 1980s like he did. Randy Rhodes had a head on his shoulders that was not normal for a kid at 25 years old. He had everything it took to be a great guitar player, yet still wanted to learn more. And Ozzy knew right away Randy had something special about him. Ozzy doesn't just take people because they're good. He expects some sort of presence to be felt when you see this type of musician and Ozzy knew right away Randy Rhodes is going to be incredibly special. Oftentimes I feel like very underrated when it comes to the all-time great guitarist debates. You'll hear Jeff Beck, you'll hear Jimi Hendrix, you'll hear Jimmy Page, you'll hear all these great guitarists and for good reasons, but Randy Rhodes' name should be in that top 10-ish range. I personally believe when it comes to discussing the greatest guitarist of all time. Speaking of all-time great guitarists, there was some semblance of a professional rivalry between Randy Rhodes and Eddie Van Halen when Randy was alive. Even Ozzy himself addressed it and said there was some sort of rivalry between these two, whether it was jealousy, whether it was who could do more, who could do better. Didn't matter. Again, two all-time great guitarists mastering their craft. But if there was a debate to be had between Van Halen and Randy Rhodes, who do you pick? Randy's death is still very much confusing, very much like, why did that even have to happen the way it did? But for those that don't know about Randy's death, I'll break it down for you. In between dates in 1982, between March 18th and March 19th, they finished up in Tennessee on the 18th, and they were going to Florida on the 19th. They had to make a pit stop to fix the AC unit. Ozzy Osbourne was sleeping. Randy was convinced by the bus driver, who was also a pilot, to hop in this plane with him and take a joyride, per se. The first ride was fine, Randy was not on it, but the second ride Randy got on and they were attempting to buzz the bus by flying the plane really close to the bus trying to scare Ozzy and those that are on it. And the third time they did it, the wing of the plane itself clipped the top of the bus, they would go spiraling into another house and Randy was killed immediately. They had to even identify him based off of his dental records and his jewelry. No one on that plane was identifiable because of just how gruesome it was. Impact is big in music, no doubt about it. And by age 25, unfortunately, he was gone, he being Randy Rhodes, but assembling Quiet Riot, becoming one of the best guitarists of his time and helping get one of the most important musicians of all time off his ass because Black Sabbath kicked him out. That being Ozzy Osbourne alongside Bob Daisley and of course Sharon, that impact is pretty damn steep for being so young. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought Randy Rose's best collab with Ozzy was, best song they did together. The Blizzard of Oz is undefeated, but when it comes to just a song, it's probably going to be crazy train for me. Randy was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame class of 2021, forever etching his name into music morality and remaining one of the greatest guitarists of all time.